dear students welcome to epg patshala i am dr mp stija retired professor from the department of library and information science guru nanak dev university amritsar we are going to discuss the history method and influence of the most famous and popular library classification dv decimal classification or simply the ddc as it is called libraries are very old and since antiquity since their birth libraries by definition require some classification since at antiquity some methods have been used to arrange documents in libraries depending upon the shape media or subject or value of the documents they contained they housed even the clay tablet libraries before christ were arranged systematically for easy location of those books inscribed on clay printing in the 15th century by gutenberg made the book production easy and their availability became common place for the common people book collections both private and public grew in size and number the collections were arranged by various methods such as size language format color of the binding their value and of course the broader subject in the late 19th century when melville dewey came to the scene books were indeed grouped into broader even more specific groups by subject catalogs were functional but the arrangement were not permanent as it was had to be changed frequently with the growth of uh, growth of books that reclassification if we can call it so was costly and wasteful too this triggered the imagination of young melville dewey to find a solution who was mathematician by training but parsimonious by attitude and habit he set out to find a solution to find to avoid the waste after long thinking for years he hit at a solution in 1876 three when he was merely of 21 years of age he named it as decimal classification for arrangement of books and pamphlets in a library and it was published in the year 1876 this ddc as it is called now later revolutionized not only classification but also the library management it started a new era in library services and library science so melville dewey is not only the father of modern classification but also of modern librarianship the system he designed is in fact the mother of all later classification systems including the so called faced ones the ddc was designed by melville dewey his full name was melville louis cosset dewey he was born in the year 1851 in a rather poor family and he was student of mathematics when he invented the system he was working in the library then and uh, trying to find a system which could be used permanently in the library so he was thinking and thinking a system of classification that's now known as ddc whose technique flashed across the inquiring mind of young dewey on a fine may morning in 1873 in a chapel and the classification is still popular the word over and soon after its publication in 1876 its popularity spread across the globe and it is still spreading it is still getting more and more popular at present it is estimated to be used in 2 lakh libraries and information centers in about 135 countries in 6 continents 62 national or trade bibliographies are arranged by the ddc it means that the ddc is not only used in libraries to arrange books but also many other media and for bibliographies and national bibliographies it is getting much more popular and its popularity is so much and it being used all over the continents 
it is said that the sun never sets on the DDC empire. And now it is trying to find many uses outside the library. For example, organizing and retrieving information on the internet and in knowledge networks and in databases. And it has been quite successful in organizing the information and searching the information on the World Wide Web. Not only this, the invention of the Dewey Decimal Classification has played a vital role in the green detections and shape to the modern librarianship. It's not for nothing that Melville Dewey is given the title Father of Modern Librarianship. Historically speaking, modern library classification begins with the publication of the DDC. It provided a paradigm to all the library classification systems that have come up in its wake. Classification by discipline, ingenious use of decimal notation, depicting hierarchical relations, and the relative index are its enduring contributions, which have been borrowed by all the later library classification as their very basis. Moreover, this Dewey Decimal Classification has influenced the management of modern libraries in many ways. Before Melville Dewey, books were arranged by what is now known as fixed location methods. In such methods, a book was given a call number indicating its permanent place on the shelves. Books were divided into broader classes and within that class, the arrangement was by accession number. Even every year, the library required reclassification of books which resulted in a waste of time and resources. In fact, it was the place where the book was given or placed, not mostly the content of the book. History The first edition published in 1876 of the Decimal Classification came out anonymously from Amherst, Massachusetts, USA. It was a thin pamphlet of 44 pages entitled A Classification and Subject Index for Cataloging and Arranging the Books and Pamphlets of a Library. The 15th edition came in 1951 was an exercise to trim the system to a standard edition, which proved a fox pass by every account. It rather failed. To cope with the alarmingly increasing size and correct its lopsided growth, the 6th edition, 1958, was issued in two volumes under the new and capable editor Benjamin A. Custer. The second volume contained the form divisions, areas, tables, and the index. The 18th edition, 1971, was issued for the first time in three volumes. The 20th edition issued for the first volume in first time in four volumes was edited by a new scholar editor, Dr. Johan P. Komarmi. The 23rd edition in four volumes forming a total of 44,276 pages was published in the year 2011. Since its beginning in 1876, it has continuously been edited and uh, produced in new editions. The latest edition is the 23rd one, which was published in the year 2012. Its bibliographical details are as follows. The title is DV Decimal Classification and Relative Index devised by Melville DV. 23rd edition was edited by John S. Mitchell. Publisher is Dublin, Ohio, the OCLC, and in the year 2011, that is in four volumes. Volume 1 is Introduction and uh, Operation Manual, and also it has some tables, and uh, that is six tables. Then Volume 2 and 3 contains the schedules, and Volume 4 is devoted to the Relative Index. Basic plan of the DDC and the structure of knowledge in it. The Dewey Decimal Classification is a general classification system. It aims to classify documents of all kinds falling in any uh, area of knowledge and in any library of the world. The entire human knowledge has been divided into three disciplines based on the uh, Fr Francis Bacon's theory of the three faculties of the human mind. One is memory, and that means the history of the mankind. 
to imagination art and literature a third is reason that is science and logic these three great divisions are divided into nine main areas of knowledge that are themselves divided into disciplines or sub disciplines basic plan and structure to continue the divisions into the nine main classes mirrors the educational consensus of the late 19th century western world and the influenced by the collection of the amherst college library in fact these were the subjects which were being taught uh, in the american universities in those days at the same time dv invented classification by discipline not by subject or topic the ddc scatters subjects by discipline and the subjects are subordinated to discipline a subject may occur in almost any discipline take for example the subject of metals may turn up in metaphysics religion social sciences natural sciences physical sciences technology art mining and may appear several times within the same discipline thus there is theoretically no single class number for the concept subject it is scattered all over the schedules according to the discipline in which it occurs the ddc has been divided at the first instance into 10 main classes and denoted by the decimal notation each of which contains three digits and the first main class is given generalia and subjects it is denoted as 000 or 0012999 then next main class 100 and its subdivisions philosophy and psychology 200 religions of the world 300 social sciences 400 languages linguistics philology 500 pure sciences or you call it natural sciences 600 is technology or applied sciences 700 is arts and 800 literature of all, all the words in all the languages and 900 again a compound class having geography bi- biography and history of the world the 10 main classes were known as the first summary also then each of the 10 main classes is can be further divided decimally into 10 divisions thus there are 100 divisions that is 10 into 10 in all this is called second summary of the knowledge for example let us take the divisions of the main class 600 applied technology or applied sciences and the first is 610 medical sciences or medicine 620 engineering and applied sciences 630 agriculture horticulture etc 640 is home economics or home science and family living 650 is management and auxiliary services 66 is chemical related technologies 670 manufactures and manufacturing 680 manufacture for specific uses specific things and 690 is building then divisions can be further divided decimally into what is known as sections so each of the 100 divisions has 10 sections each thus there are 1000 sections that is 100 into 10 and that is known as the third summary of knowledge or the third summary of knowledge in the ddc now take another example the 610 medical sciences can be divided into 10 sections as follows 610 medical science medicine in general and 611 human anatomy cytology tissues 612 human physi- physiology 613 general and personal hygiene 6114 public health and related topics 615 pharmacology and therapeutics 616 diseases 617 surgery and related topics 618 the other branches of medicine for example gerontology and so on 6199 is experimental medicine you will see that one of the contribution of the ddc is the hierarchy of subjects or the depiction of hierarchy that is showing subordinate and coordinate relations here example is from the social sciences 300 social sciences then further divided 330 economics 332 is financial economics 
332.1 banks and banking, 332.11 central banks or sometimes known as reserve banks or the government's banks and then uh, other example 332.110954 that is the Reserve Bank of India. In addition to the main schedules that is the subject numbers, every library classification or book classification requires some extra additional features to make a comprehensive class numbers. The DDC now at present has six additional tables which can be added to the numbers in the schedules. The six tables are as follows. E1 or Table 1 standard subdivisions that is also known as farm divisions. Table 2 is area table that is geographical isolates the places of the world. T3 is meant for table for individual literature and uh, now this has been further divided into sub tables that is 3A, 3B and 3C. This table is only required for literature class, mostly required for literature class I should say. Then table 4 is subdivisions of languages, these are grammatical subdivisions and it is applicable to the main class 400 languages and linguistics. T5 national ethnic groups by ethnicity and T6 languages are it is a comprehensive and systematic languages of the world. In the DDC table 1 is used without instructions whereas table 2 to table 6 can be used only according to instructions. Notation. Notation is simple and decimal but sometimes it looks confusing because the decimal is not put. To explain you though the DDC uses decimal numbers but in practice for ready reference and comprehension and simplicity of notation the first zero and the decimal point are not shown. These are understood to be always there. You can see them mentally in the very beginning and you should know that every notation every decimal number not a integral whole number. Instead a point is put after the first three digits. This is mathematically of no value or you can call it nonsense. Such a point is never placed between digits of a decimal fraction mathematically. So the third decimal or the point you see actually it is a dot. Further it is mandated in the DDC that no class number will be of less than three digits. Therefore every class number is given extra zeros to make three if it is less than so. For example actually the class number for natural sciences is five or you can also call mathematically speaking, logically speaking, legally speaking it is 0 0.5 but it is denoted by 500. Here in 500 the initial dot is not shown but since 5 is only one digit to make it 3 we add two extra digits or you can also call it filler digits and we call it 500 and mathematically it has the same value as dot 5. Similarly mathematics becomes 510 though the real number for mathematics should be 51 and algebra of course is 512. Zeros in 500, 510 are filler zeros to make the digit 3 as I told you earlier. Mathematically these zeros have got no value at all. Though the Dewey Decimal classification started purely as an enumerative system but over the years to keep pace with the turbulently growing knowledge and to make use of the advances in classification mostly started by the DDC. The research in DDC has developed many methods for number building, number synthesis through what is known as add to instructions from the schedules. So there are many methods that is add to from 011 to 999. It means that you have to add anything from the schedule to the given base or it is add to from a designated base number taken from some other small portion of the schedules. Then there can also be add to from the same division that is nearby and also there can be add to through the facet indicators including this indicator 04 which is known as general special and of course we can also add the tables 1 to 6 to the any number in the schedules. So there are many provisions for number buildings in the, in the DDC. In addition in the schedule there are some special uh, which can be added or used locally to a, a given or to a specified series of numbers. Hospitality is very important. Without hospitality no classification can survive. But what is hospitality? Hospitality of a classification is defined 
as its ability to accommodate the emerging topics at their proper places without dislocating the already existing ones. The longevity of a classification system is directly proportional to the efficiency of the hospitality devices employed. Mostly, hospitality is provided through many flexibility already made available in the notation of the DDC. So, DDC notation is quite flexible and it is hierarchical. That is why it can accommodate many, many subjects at their proper places when they emerge in future. Hospitality can also be in array and in chain also. Then in chain, hierarchical notation provides infinite hospitality upon the given base and it is dated only by the practical realities. You can go on extending any number to any extent. A newly emerged independent topic hitherto forming an indistinguishable part of an already existing one may be easily accommodated at the end of the chain by adding another digit to the class number of the parent topic. It is as easy as to stretch an elastic cord. Hierarchy also makes it possible to adopt the DTC in any library, whether small, medium or large. The chain can be truncated at any point from the right end of to give broader number to subjects in small libraries. So in electronic databases, browsing or navigation can be done by moving up or down the hierarchy. Apart from this, Decimal notation or a hierarchical notation, gap device is a very patent device for hospitality of notation. It means you can keep gaps here and there to accommodate new future subjects. And one disadvantage of the purity of notation inherent in the DDC's decimal notation is that the accommodation of a new subject in an array is not easily done. To avoid such situation, one course of action is to leave some gaps in the notation that describes an array. For example, in the array 511 to 519 in mathematics, 517 and in the array of 541 to 549 in chemistry, sections 545 and 546 have been left unassigned. So, there no meaning is given to them. If ever a new branch of mathematics or chemistry is developed, space is already available if the branches fall logically there. So, new branches can be placed at this where the gaps exist. Relative index is another important contribution of the DDC or of Melville DB. It's not simply a list of alphabetical list of concepts or terms used in the DDC, but it can also be seen as a, another structure of knowledge or other approach to knowledge organization. This relative index is an alphabetical index to every key term occurring in the schedules and all the tables. In addition to the explicit terms, some terms, concepts, implied or obtained through number building process and popular synonyms terms have also been included in the index. Similarly, in the 23rd edition, the total number of more than index 1 lakh entries is far more than the total of 50,000 enumerated entries in the schedules and tables. It means that the number of terms used in the data index are double the terms used in the schedules. So, every term you can say has got to entry point in the schedules. The index, which also offers another approach to knowledge organization, is lauded as another enduring contribution of the DDC to the science of classification and indexing. It may also be noted that in the electronic DV or what you call it web DV, the index has many more features over the index in the print edition. Use of the relative index. In the DDC 23rd index has 965 pages contained in the fourth volume. The index is called relative as it inverses the main pattern of collocation of subjects in the schedules. Hence, subjects are scattered by discipline in the schedule, but they are brought together in the index. In the index, all aspects of a subject dispersed by discipline in the schedules have been converged under one entry. So, it means that it provides another approach to knowledge organization. It is relative as it also depicts the relation of one aspect of a subject to another and brings together the distributed relatives of a subject or topic. The DDC is available in various versions and one of the old and very important version is abridged DV, that is concise DV. Since the year 1884, an abridged version called abridged DV is available. It is always in one volume 
comprising of one introduction schedules only four tables namely one two three and six and of course it has an index it has shorter numbers normally up to two digits beyond the dot mean the maximum number of digits in a class number could be five which are easy to remember and can be easily written on the spine of the documents or shelves besides this it is very useful for teaching the basics and number building in the ddc currently it is in 15th edition which was published one year after the main system and that is it was published in the year 2012 and this abridged edition is very useful for classifying books in a small library having up to 20000 titles another versions are electronic version you can call them and the first electronic version started in the year 1996 in 1996 the ddc was made available on a cd rom called electronic dv later it was named as dv for windows so its software was changed the annually updated dv for windows on cd ceased publication in the year 2001 since its 22nd edition its electronic version is known as web dv and abridged dv is also known as abridged web dv which was first published in the year 2004 and these are available on the internet only to the licensed users that is you have to get license to use it and this license is available on annual basis electronic versions are much more enhanced and with many added features they are easy to apply comparatively and they are always remain updated the ddc is very famous and popular mostly because of its revision machinery and the organizations behind it that is editorial committee and its government it has a permanent machinery and a very sound mechanism for its regular revision the dv section in the executive organ which prepares draft proposal for the amendments and within is in the office of the library of congress the editorial office is located in the dv section of the library of congress this section drafts the proposals to amend schedules it is also its single largest user means that it tried on the books which are required in the library of congress here the dv assistant editor under the supervision of the section chief classify more than 110000 titles every year in all subjects in all languages for use in mark records and cip data and it provides a great experimental forum to classify what is known as literary warrant all revisions are ultimately approved by the dcepc that is known as decimal classification editorial policy committee and before implementation these have to be approved by the dcepc the present editor in chief is michael penzer who took over in the year 2013 and he is the person who is to implement the decisions of the dcepc it is very popular one of the big three classifications in addition to its use in 2 lakh libraries all over the world it is the most popular system in usa where 95% of school and public libraries 20% of special libraries and 25% of academic libraries use it it is also the most popular classification system in india ddc numbers are available in cip data and mark records for copy cataloging in mark format the ddc call number is always entered in the field with the tag number 082 in the addition of the abridged dv was released in the year 1876 now it is well entrenched in europe to where since 2007 european ddc user group that is edug has been officially established its mandate is to make ddc popular in europe and also to help in translation of the ddc in other european languages so the ddc is also used let us say in many bibliographic databases the bubble link is given here and then further with the increasing use of online catalogs it has been recognized that searching a ddc classified sequence is an important complement to searching by keywords or subject headings especially for generic searches up and down a hierarchy for this purpose too long notation far from being a hindrance becomes useful in pinpointing specific subjects the ddc is popular useful everybody loves it but still it has some problems theoretically speaking and it is also said popularity begets criticism and ddc is no exception to this the very popular and the first choice of new and general libraries it has a fair share of criticism 
and some of it is it has its roots in the 19th century knowledge which does not draw the modern map of knowledge its notation is very weak but easy due to simplicity and familiarity of indo arabic numerals due to its purity decimal notation is not effective one there is no hospitality except in the decimal and in cap devices the ddc started with a scheme of notation then tailored to its principles to fit the rule of the 10 the division by 10 is only artificial knowledge doesn't grow at 10 levels only at every step schedules are deformed thus and due to this class numbers in such classes have become too lengthy for example in engineering or in economics melville dv gave equal space to all subjects that was not think correct dagnason gave half space to science subjects and half to social sciences and humanities which was the right approach due to its pacifist bias that it is the bias towards white races anglo saxon races and protestant christian subjects and so it is not very useful for indian subjects apart from this the structure of the ddc is faulty of course arrangement of main classes is not very logical one due to its 19th century origin for example four zero zero languages or linguistics and eight zero zero literature are unnecessarily separated so are the social sciences and nine zero zero history though some people believe that history is also a social science within social sciences you see 320 political science has been separated from 350 public administration 327 international relation is separated from 341 international law which should have been kept together sciences 500 have been separated from their applications and put into a separate main class 600 many systems alternate theory and practice of the subject and collocate sciences and their technology as do the cc and even the library of congress then 900 geography biography and history are clubbed together because there was no space so their collocation the dividual classification is the longest surviving classification in the world of libraries now it is more than 140 years old in the early 20th century it was very popular and its popularity spread like fires all over the world by coming into the mid 20th century with the coming of some more sophisticated facial classifications the theoreticians began to find faults with it and even some doubted its survival they thought it has outlived its utility it is the classification of the 19th century but the ddc always kept its head above water it has not only survived but thrived and has become more popular over the years it is one of the most popular and highly used classification in the world how it has done it mostly because of its keeping it up to date relevant marketing and being user and librarian friendly the ddc is at present in the 23rd edition which was published in the year 2011 the next edition that is ddc 24 is likely to be published in 2018 to continue the changes hinted already in the present edition as evinced by the two previous editions the ddc is moving towards internationalization by gradually removing white anglo saxon and protestant wasp bust it is becoming truly international many innovative efforts have been made to design and market many dv products such as the bookmarks dv rap music audiovisual teaching kit and dv posters and exclusive publications of three main summaries which are available free of cost on the net oclc has sponsored 
pioneering and successful research to study the use of classification in online databases and it is being applied somewhere uh, in many uh, search engines and also in databases. Most important of all research is going to, on to find wider applications of the DDC in all sorts of information management, not simply in libraries. So if you look at the future and the status of the DDC, the DDC is not the same as it was when created a century ago. It has opened itself to the latest developments in classification theory and information science and information technology and has initiated research in theory and use of classification in the digital environment. It has shown its mettle in the arena of bibliographic classification theory. What has remained stable is its basic plan, its notation, and its desire to serve librarianship by developing and adapting itself to the new demands of the knowledge organization. It is geared to become a powerful and reliable subject access system of the 21st century digital environment. Its ongoing popularity, its increasing applicability in the digital information environment and its innovative marketing and smart revision machinery keeps it the system at the top. 